Attention is not just a brain function. Attention is the way you dispose your consciousness towards the world, with what aims, towards what values, drawn by what matters to that particular hemisphere. And of course we need both of these. And of course in the normal condition, a person who is healthy is drawing on both of these all the time. But that doesn't alter the fact that in themselves they produce quite different kinds of mental worlds. And they're like this. For the left hemisphere, everything is already known. It's certain. It's fixed. It is explicit. There's nothing hidden. It's abstracted from its context, including that of the body. It's general in nature and is fundamentally inanimate. It's a world that is known by its parts, what goes to make it up, a world where quantity is more important than quality. Uh, it is in fact a representation, not the living presence. Let me just gloss that. The word representation is an interesting one, isn't it? It means making present again, after the fact when it, whatever it is is no longer present so a representation is something that stands in for when you are not actually in touch with the reality and it's the it is what the left hemisphere gives us and nowadays i would argue we are so used to living in a world of representations that we no longer even realize that that's what we're doing we're not living in the living presence as if you like of whatever it is. To the right hemisphere, something presences. It comes into being. It's nurtured into being in the right hemisphere, almost immediately taken up by the left, which says, oh yes, I, it represents this, it represents that, it goes in this category. That's how that hemisphere operates, which is very, again, useful, but not very good if your aim is to get a real, uh, truthful vision of the world around you. And it also goes in for denial and has limited imagination and it, this leads to an unwarranted optimism.